Okay, y'all. Um, one more time. Just one more time. But this time, this group does not have the psychedelic one in it. It's just got this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. We're doing it again, again, again. So again, should be the word. So if you want to win the calendars, type the word again in the comment section. Um, we, we might do it again after this, I don't know. We might just take a break. But AJ is the winner of the calendars this week. Um, I posted the, the picture of it at the end of the video. But she's the one that won. AJ. So, let's do it one more time. This is how we do it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I hope you have a blessed weekend. A blessed weekend. So, um, I said at the end of the video, um, keep your eyes on Jesus. Stay happy and blessed and a true hot mess. Bye. Okay, y'all, right here, I'm going to take some uh, nautical rope. Now, I got this one from Amazon. I've had it for forever and a day. But I'm going to take and, oh, first I'm going to send up the end there with some hot glue. I just put some hot glue in it, and I turn it around or twist it around, whatever, y'all. See, it already starts as soon as I start talking. And I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue on it, and I'm going to bend it. And I'm not trying to make a circle. I'm trying to make more like an oval, um, yeah, yeah, oval shape, and, um, I just keep hot gluing it. Now, I have a silicone mat down there that doesn't stick, so if y'all could do it on something like that, it's better, and I put the glue low to the bottom, like a lot of it will go to the back, but we're not going to see the back, and I just keep going and going until I get the size that I want. Now, instead of making a circle more of an oval, you just bend it and, and maneuver it as you go. And then cut your finger with your scissors, because um, that stings. And then at the end, uh, cut it at an angle, your jute, and then rub it down with like your spatula or something. And I just take the end of my hot glue gun and, and rub it too, and it flattens that down and it looks almost seamless. So, yeah, I, I think that looks pretty good. Anyway, we're going to do that three times. With that size. And they sell that at the Dollar Tree. And then with this size from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start again. And I'm going to make it about 3 inches. It's crazy because I made these. And then I watched Bree from Bree's Arts. She made um, something similar. Well she made this pumpkin with this. But I was like oh no. And then she said my name. And then something else. We just have so much goofiness in common. But anyway. Um, great minds think alike we said. But. You know, because the cracker, not cracker, <laughs> the carrot I made for Easter, I thought I'd make some pumpkins for fall. <laughs> cracker, I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyway, I'm just doing the same thing here, but I'm doing it more of an oblong shape. Um, Y'all see what I mean? Yeah, there we go. And we're going to make three of those. Yep. This thing, you guys, is gorgeous. I mean, it is beautiful when it's done. But anyway, I'm just showing here that, um, how to, like, I used, I did, okay. I finished a piece of nautical rope that I had and I attached it together, but I don't know what happened. I just confused you all when you're like, I don't know what happened either. But here I'm just checking to make sure they're about the same size. Now, when those are done, I'm going to take, um, 11, 11 five-gallon paint stir sticks, which you're going to need four packs which, that's, you know, uh, four bucks, you guys. I mean, 99 cents a piece. I don't think that's that bad. And seven of them, I'm going to stain with that um, wood tint by Folk Art in the color Walnut. I love that stuff. It's so pretty. And it doesn't smell. And it's water-based. and But it will stain your hands up, y'all. But I put it on and then wiped it off with a paper towel. And then... Four of them I'm going to do with Waverly Antique Wax. Same way. Put it on. Wipe it off. I mean, y'all can do yours any color you want. I know this is kind of goofy. And you're like, why is she doing that? But I just I don't know. I thought it would be pretty. And then the four with the Waverly Antique Wax, I paint the back of with a Rust-Oleum Linwhite Chalk Paint. And I give it two coats. 
Now here, I'm flipping the ones over that has the folk art wood tint on it. And on every other stick, I'm putting uh, wood glue. And then every other one after that, I'm putting hot glue. And I'm using them Jumbo Craft Sticks from the Walmart. Okay, you're like, oh no, that's so pretty though. So I'm going to take my Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint here. And I'm going to give it like a messy coat, you know what I mean? I just wanted it to look like old wood, like it had been painted and it rubbed off and all that jazz. Okay, now, back to my little round things there. I'm going to take a lighter and burn the hairs off the best I can. Um, these things were pretty fuzzy. And the only reason we're doing that is because we're going to paint them. And I'm going to take those three um, oval-like shaped ones and I'm going to paint them with the pumpkin color paint from Waverly Orange and then uh, the moss I'm putting on the oblong ones all three of them we're gonna paint them all the moss chalk paint by Waverly okay now back to my sign I know you guys are like oh stay with one thing okay on the back of it I'm gonna put 14 tumbling tower blocks and I'm just gonna use hot glue and I'm gonna glue them as close to the edge as possible and I do four on each each the top and the bottom and then the left and the right, I do three. And then I'm going to take my um, wood glue, and I'm going to take hot glue, and I'm going to glue it on them tumbling tower blocks because I'm going to put that those uh, those ones, those one we did with the Waverly Antique Wax, on the uh, yeah on the top and the bottom there. And then I cut cut those off, measure them out, and cut them off, and I glue them on the side the same way. That's the four. Yeah, we're using as our frame. Now, I'm going to take hot glue, and I'm going to put it on the back of my little uh, circles there, my little pumpkins. Ain't they so cute? You're like, no, it looks like eyeballs, big old frog eyeballs in orange <laughs> They do, don't they? Anyway, and then I'm going to take my third one and glue it on the top. So, I'm going to glue the two beside each other. Yeah, and then the third extra one on the top and making my pumpkins, y'all. Then I take two of those little sticks I got from the Dollar Tree. I've had those things for two years, y'all. Seriously. And I'm going to take some Spanish moss. There's a skew number for that. And I'm going to put it all the way across the bottom of my little sign. Y'all, this thing weighs 30 pounds. <laughs> it don't, but it's heavy. I mean, it is heavy duty. I mean, it looks like something you get at the Hobby Lobby. Two of these things I do today do. I just sometimes surprise myself. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to take some... I shouldn't say that. That's awful. I'm going to take some pip berries there from the Dollar Tree. And I got red and orange ones and green and white ones. And I'm just going to um, cut off two pieces for each pumpkin. And I think I put the... Um, yeah, I end up switching it up. I put the orange and red ones on the orange pumpkin and the green and white ones on the green. Now, here's how I'm going to decorate. I already took a blob of uh, raffia and just tied it in a knot and glued it to my stem there. And then I'm going to take some random green leaf and then two of these leaves. I'm sure they came from the Dollar Tree too because nearly everything I own does. Except my clothes, but give me time. And then I'm going to take those pit berries and glue them down in there. And then I'm going to take um, two little eucalyptus leaves. Is that right? Is that what I'm doing? Nope, another random leaf that's real green. Oh, now my two eucalyptus leaves. And then, and no, and then. Oh, now my pit berries. I don't know, y'all. I don't know why I do things like this. I don't mean to, but I'm not a good editor. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm taking Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. And I'm just adding some, like, um, you know, kind of little bit of details to my pumpkin. And then, y'all, this is a shoelace bow. You just take two bows, two loops, and you tie them together like you would your shoe. And um, then just pull your bow out and do it how you like it. Now, this green one, I've had that green ribbon, y'all, for like 11 years. And it's thicker than that orange and tan one from the Dollar Tree. So, I take the um, tails and I put some hot glue on the edge of it. And I glue them together because I want them tails to look thinner. 
and I'm still going to dovetail them and singe you in so it doesn't um, fray. And then I'm going to take a piece of that stick I cut off from one of the sides. And I'm going to put it behind my sign. And that's going to be the prop of it, y'all. And y'all, this is gorgeous. I hope you love it. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I take that blessed word. That's one of them leather words from the Dollar Tree. And I, and I glue it in between my pumpkins there. Now. Oh, well, never mind. Make sure I glue it down. Oh, now I'm trimming down my raffia. Oh, no. I take eucalyptus that came from the Walmart, and I cut them off, and I stick them down all over in my um, Spanish moss there. See, I don't know what's going on. You all, I mean, I don't even know. I just can't even with the, I'm not mad at it at all. <laughs> I love this. I love it. It is huge, and it is so Y'all, I wish you could see it. I don't know. I'm telling you. I just can't even. Okay. <laughs> right here, y'all. I got one of those uh, reed foam things from the dock. Again, I've had those forever. And white nautical work. Look, I got two different colors. One's cream and one's white. I don't know. But I use them anyway. I'm trying to still craft my stash. This stuff I've had for so long. Anyway. When I first started my channel, I ordered a box of that white nautical rope, and I'm still like, well, I'm almost out of it now, so that's good. Working my way down, and um, I'm going to wrap every bit of those hoops, every one of them, in that white nautical rope. It actually doesn't take that long, but when I come to the little, um, see that little hole there? I stop, because you can't go over it, because I'm still going to need those holes. And I stop, so I, I put nautical rope on a half, and then I glue it down, and I and then I put it on the other half. And I always take my glue gun and try to lay those little hairs down. I put some glue on it and rub that down, see? I don't know why I showed you me doing it 78 times, but I did. And then I put my put it together just like you normally would, but I don't use that little uh, tin piece because it's so thick. It just popped right together. And that's why you got to leave your holes open. And I'm hot gluing that bad boy down. I mean, I'm hot gluing her. And then I'm pushing it down to try to make it more like, flatter like, like a pumpkin instead of more round. You know what I mean? I mean, I really wait on that thing. And then I got one of them white, uh, candle pillars from the Dollar Tree. And there was the skew number. And I'm going to put a ton of hot glue around the hole there. I flipped it upside down because um, that's a more flat base. And I'm going to put um, some of that more, some of that more, uh, not a good work around that word, y'all. I'm always on that struggle bus. And then I tuck the excess down in that hole because I want a more substantial um, piece to glue my orbital thing to, my pumpkin. We'll just call it that, we'll just call it a pumpkin. Not a pumpkin, I'm sorry, a pumpkin. And anyway, and then I wrap more, um, nautical rope around it and and hot glue it good and tie a piece on there because I want that thing to stay. <laughs> I don't think it's going anywhere. Look at that. I'm still going at it. And you're not going to see that mess on the bottom because um, we cover it. And I'm one of those round flat pieces of foam, you usually get two pieces oh, <laughs> on in one pack from the Dollar Tree. And then those um, green droopy Greenery, I don't know what it's called. It's just called greenery, it said. From the Dollar Tree, I'm going to glue it all around the base. And I even stick some of it down on top of my candle pillar where the rope is. And then inside the thing and all the way around. And then I'm going to take some pine cones and stick them in there. Just, you know, random places. I told y'all I'm not a florist with my pumpkin. But I was like, man, I might be on a roll. Let me see what I can do here. And I don't know if y'all like it, but. Just something I thought dreamed up in my goofy head. Anyway, so, um, oh, I put some cattails in and more pine cones and those little mums from last year. See, I was going to make it and some of those berry fuzzy things. I don't know what they are. I was going to make it match my pumpkin and then I just started going crazy with the mini, mini mums. My pumpkin from 
last week, my pumpkin wreath. But see, I put little pumpkins in there, too. You can set a pumpkin in there and use it like that. And I think that's so cute. I mean, I'm not done with it yet. But I'm going to put a candle in the middle of mine. And we're still not done. We got some decorating to do to this thing. So, I got that up. Uh, it's a piece of root from a tree. I've been holding that thing since last year because I liked how it looked. And I couldn't cut it with anything except that saw. So I did cut it in half, and I'm going to put it at the top of my pumpkin there. And, oh, I just a little tip. When you got little mess of uh, all kinds of stuff laying around, um, Spanish moss and all that stuff, just get you a piece of uh, duct tape and just, Tear it off and just lay it on your table and bounce it all over the place. Helps clean it up real good. Because you're trying to scrape it off and it's a mess. But anyway, those are from Miss Jackie. She's Jackie Cohn. She sent them to me. And that's that new lace from the Dollar Tree. And they got the white and that cream color. And thank you, Jackie. And I'm just going to cut me some pieces off and tie it to the top of my pumpkin. And then I take some tool. And I got that from Hobby Lobby last year, y'all. And tie it to, last year at fall, actually, tie it to the top of my pumpkin. And then I'm going to take raffia. And you're like, raffia with two? Just trust me, it looks cute. And I'm going to take the green and the red and the beige. And I'm going to tie it to the top of my pumpkin. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then Miss Rochelle bought me that ribbon last year for Christmas. And I'm going to use that. Now, I had that little bow on it. And I'm going to save that little bow because I'm going to add it to the bow that I make. And if y'all want to know how I make my bows, I made a bow video um, a while back. Real easy. Um, and it's there. So I'm going to take some um, jute and wrap it around the center of it so I can use that leftover and tie it to the top of my my um, peduncle. I think that's what Bree said they're called. And then with my bow, I'm going to take that bow that came with that ribbon and hot glue it to the center of my bow. And that's it, y'all. And I love this thing. I think that'd be so pretty for centerpiece or something like that. Um, for Thanksgiving table or something. I don't know. I might be getting better with the flower stuff. Well, maybe not. You all tell me. So, okay, y'all. This is a long one. I got two of them Christmas tags from last year. Almost everything I have is from last year. From the Dollar Tree. And I'll let you know otherwise if it's not. Now, we're going to do another drawing for um, another pack of calendars. Okay, we're going to take the back side of my signs, and I'm going to glue some of those um, large popsicle sticks. I got those from the Home Depot, y'all. And on that one, I'm just going to put hot glue. Um, and then on those, I'm going to put hot glue and wood glue. I had to clean out my thing. It was plugged up. Oh, my goodness. Chris left the lid off of it. Honey did. I'm sorry. Left the lid off of it. And it got dried up in my hole. Anyway, whatever. I'm going to take um, wood putty and fill my cracks. Because I can't find... I don't think I have any lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree. I think I used it all when I did that window. <laughs> anyway. And when it dries, sand it down real good. And then dust it off or wipe it off. You don't want that dust on there when you're trying to paint. And I'm going to give it two coats of Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. Mm. While that's drying, I'm going to take uh, actually three of these. Um, I think I did cut it out, but I used three of these planks from the um, Dollar Tree. And I'm going to glue two of them together. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I stain them with that um, folk art wood tint. Ignore the pumpkins word because I didn't use it. I'm going to take these stickers from the Dollar Tree. I need to get some, y'all. I was so lucky. I mean, I just spelled pumpkin. And they only have one H, or I think, on that pack or something. Anyway, I don't know what I used H's on. Christmas, maybe? But still. Anyway, it don't matter. And I lay them on my ruler there so I can get them as straight as possible. And then I push them down uh, real good at the top. And make sure they're good and straight. Then I push them down the rest of the way. And I finally found some Mod Podge. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Nasty. At the um, Dollar Tree. But it wasn't mine. It was a different one. Mine don't ever carry it. And I put a light coat over my letters. And then when that dried. I'm going to take that pumpkin chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm going to like. Do that. Do like. 
not a full coat, but I want to make sure the, the letters of pumpkin are covered. But if there's some on the edges that's left or see through some places, that's fine. I'm going to leave it. But while that paint is wet, I like pulling up my stickers because if sometimes you let it dry, it will pull your paint up with it. And I don't like that because then it don't look as good. But right there, this P that was left on the crack, it had a little bit of bleeding. Well, I didn't even leave it. Okay, right here, I'm taking some masking tape. I'm telling you, this is a long one. I'm trying to get through it fast. And I flip it upside down. And then I put tape on like that. That's how I paint my beads and little letters and stuff like that. And tumbling tower blocks sometimes. Anyway, and then I'm going to stain them with that folk art home decor. And then I just hang them on a wall or something let them dry with that tape. And then if they dry, I'm going to do like a light coat on them. And so you can see some of the tint through it. And I'm going to distress my little, my other little plaque there. Remember I said I did three of them? Um, okay. Now we're going to take this pack of pumpkins Miss Maxine sent me, or gave me last year, um, from Maxine Loves Crafts. Loves the craft. And, um, the other pack of pumpkins from last year. And then this football thingy here. Now, I used one pumpkin from year before last because it's a little bit bigger than the ones from last year. And then that bigger one and then that smaller one. So I do use two of those little wood ones. Woo! And then one I paint in dusk and that other one I paint in plaster and one I paint in celery. <clears throat> now this one, the other wooden one, I'm going to take cashew chalk paint by Waverly and some pumpkin chalk paint by Waverly and mix it together because I'm going to try to get that peachy like color that they have on the pumpkins this year. Especially on those little rub on transfers because those are gorgeous and I love them. I love them. I wish I would have bought a hundred packs. Now, when I painted my pumpkins, I see how I painted like I swarped left and swarped right, like in the circular. Because if it dries like that, I, I want that texture. That that you all know what I'm saying. Probably not, cause I don't know what I'm saying. And I paint the edges of them. Yeah. Congratulations, AJ, for winning the calendars. Anyway. Yep, we're going to draw again. Yes, we are. We're going to draw again. Yes, we are. You have to type again in the comments. Type the word again in the comments. That's it. All right. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm going to take... Um, oh, well... Oh, no. Did I delete the wrong thing? I'm just giving that a second coat. I give all of them a second coat, but I hope I didn't leave all that in. Well, it's starting to look like I did, ain't it? Well, let me see if I can nip this in the bud before we get too far, I think. Yep. Nope. Okay, y'all. I got that deleted. So now... I'm going to take my little words that I painted orange and take that other little slat and I'm going to hot glue down the, my laters, my patch. <laughs> that sounds goofy. <laughs> ah, shoot. Anyway, oh no. I'm so sorry, y'all. I know y'all know how to hot glue down letters. I always take a cheapy tape, take a cheapy brush and knock my hot glue strands off the best I can. Sometimes I miss them. Now, I'm going to take Moss by Waverly, and I'm going to, like, give some details to my little pumpkins. I just take flat paint brushes, get some paint on them, lie, lay them sideways, and just kind of lightly glide over and make those little lines. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to take Mineral and do it to the white one, and I take uh, Night Sky and do it to the Dusk one, and I take, um... Uh, that uh, wood tint by Folk Over and do it to my orange one. No, I lied. I take Truffle. And, you know, the, on the little stickers, the orange one had like little brown dots on it. And I'm like, well, I can't do that. So I painted on my stems. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I um, distressed my little pumpkins a little bit more with that Truffle chalk paint by Waverly. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. And that a song, here we go, here we go, from the 80s. Was it Mark Wahlberg? I don't even know. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. <laughs> okay, back to our jute rope there. Uh, nautical rope, whatever it is, y'all. And um, 
I want to show you how to cut it open apparently, but I'm just going to take it and run it all the way around the outside of that sign, those two tags I painted. Y'all, this thing is huge. I'm serious. Um, my honey actually did think this came from Hobby Lobby, and he wondered why I bought it. He thought it was on sale. Um, because he said, you could have made that, and I'm like, well, I did. Anyway, paint, or make sure you cover the back before you put the nautical rope on. I didn't, and yeah, and it's a pain in the hind end getting it on there, and I just ran extra hot glue around it, making sure it's going to stay down real good. I cut around it with my, um, my exacto knife, y'all. Okay. Now, I'm trying to do the placement where everything's going to go on my little sign. This thing is pretty. On my Cricut, I cut out, um, I think, apple cider, hot cocoa, hay rods, and corn maize. Now, you guys can use stickers from the Dollar Tree. I would have used some because that's what I was trying to do on this one, but I didn't have any more. Um, <clears throat> and I just took a Sharpie and put little dots between my words because when I pulled my vinyl up, it took my little dots with it. So, I'm going to take um, wood glue. Told you my thing stopped up. I got it cleaned out. Wood glue and hot glue. And going to glue my little plaques down to my, um, my, um, that thing usually don't do that, y'all. I'm telling you, just don't leave the lid off of it. You just have to clean it out if you do. And glue that down. Put a little bit of weight on it. And do the same with this smaller one. I just end up grabbing the bottle right there. I'm going to choke him. I tell him I'll share, but to take care of my stuff, and he don't listen. He's like a kid. Anyway, and I'm going to, yeah, do my pumpkins like that, and I'm going to take wood glue and hot glue for the bigger one because it had that um stuff still on the back of it where it was made, and I was afraid it'd be slicky. You know what I mean? And anyway, hot glue my pumpkins down, and I'm going to take some jute, do a shoelace bow, and you can make these really tiny, y'all, and that's what I did. I glued one on the orange, no, the white one and the green one, I think. And then, um, I take some of that green raffia, maybe, and, um, I tear it down, and I glue a little bow to the orange one and the blue one. And now, I'm making a hanger for my sign. Y'all, this thing is huge. I'm telling you why. It's so big. But I want to show y'all something. Look, if you take and make a hoop and lay it on your rope, I hope that y'all can see this. And then you wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap as much as you want. Then when you're done wrapping, take that string you use wrapping, put it through your hole, and take the string you left on the bottom with the hoop, and you pull those two at the same time, and it will knot underneath your jute, and you won't be able to see, like, where it was tied or anything. And now I'm just going to fringy out my little ends, make them look like little tassels, and I do it to both sides. And I take hot glue and glue it right in the corner of each sign. It's it's holding it up, too. And, um, there it is, y'all. I think this thing is so pretty. It is so big. I ain't even playing. I mean, oh, my goodness. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I know. More jute rope. Nautical rope here, y'all. I was going to name this video, um, Craft, was, Craft Up Some of That Nautical Rope. I still might. Anyway, I got one another one of them candle peelers from the Dollar Tree because I have like 84 of them. And I'm going to run some, uh, that jute around the edge completely. Now, when I get up through there, put your glue towards the back, but towards the back on the rope because it don't squeeze out everywhere. And then when I get to the top, I'm just going to keep wrapping, y'all. And I don't know what this is, but I, I thought it in my head, and I thought it would be cute. And I'm going to call it a Florfendorf. So, I hope you all like my Florfendorf. But anyway, um, then when it was done, I was like, oh, you could do that with a wine glass. Oh, well, but I thought I was coming up with something wonderful. But anyway, I just keep wrapping the jute even up past the, um, the, um, candle sitter part you know what i mean look i i did that you can't even tell where it began and end. if you cut it at an angle and lay it down man you can fit those right together and it's just awesome and then i shown you with that swoop down because that's where we started we're going to end it right there and um yeah there we go now see now it looks like a wine glass but i didn't see that until i was done with it but i thought it was a cute idea 
And then I'm going to burn the fuzzies off it because I'm going to be painting it. But this time, Jessie was in the room, and she started flipping out and grabbing my hands and trying to pull that lighter away from me. I think she thought, Mama's going to burn the house down. Help, help. You know what I mean? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I was showing y'all. Y'all could take, like, um, buffalo check ribbon or anything and wrap it around your floor from doors. But anyway. <laughs> I'm going to paint mine with plastic chalk paint by Waverly. I keep wanting to call that paint sheetrock, and I don't know why. Well, plaster, you know. Anyway, and I paint like the, even like the, like not on the stem, but down around the bottom. You could tape it off if you want to. But anyway, um, and then I'm going to take, going to take these little pumpkins that Miss Pat Boyer sent me last year. Thank you, Pat. Anyway, um, and I'm going to paint them. Yeah, and I'm going to paint one in plaster, and I'm going to paint one in, um, I don't remember, oh, Nantucket blue, and I'm going to paint one in, um, come on, Kathy, get it going, oh, moss, chalk paint by Waverly, and I'm going <laughs> to paint one with that little orange mixed stuff I mixed up, and I painted the one with the dust color, but I just didn't have any room, I ran out of space, so, I take a piece of, um, oh, what's that stuff you get on your, uh, canvas? And I take those little stickers I discovered last year at Christmas time, or no, it was this year, Valentine's Day, that those rub on transfer stick to material. And I was like, dude. Anyway, so that's what I did to my little canvas piece. Ain't that cute? And there again, I'm going to take that home decor wood tent. I need to drink, y'all. I talk so much. Mm. Goodness gracious. And I'm going to, um, I went around the edge of that. And I'm going to hot glue it down. Because I didn't want it to bleed in together. You know what I mean? Because I put it on the front, not the back. Now I'm going to take some gingham, gingham ribbon. And I'm going to wrap it around right there. On the base of my floor from dwarf. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I don't know. And then I'm going to make a little shoestring bow. And I glue two little pieces of eucalyptus down. And I kind of wish I hadn't. Because you'll see why. Because it kind of don't match. But you'll see. And then I dovetail the ends of that. And then I take one of them little teeny tiny sunflowers from the Dollar Tree from last year. And I glue one right in the center of my little bow. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry y'all. Excuse me. And I take one of them round balls of foam from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to hot glue it down inside my floor from door where the candle would normally set, and I'm going to take some Spanish moss and put it down in there, and I'm going to take some of that green reindeer moss and, like, just put little drops of it in there. You know how you're going in the fall, and there's a little green here and there, but mainly not, and I had a little brown candle. I was like, oh, here's an orange one, too. I don't know where these even came from. And I was going to set them down inside my thing, but you can't see it. So I put my little pumpkins in there. And I put little sunflowers in there from the Walmart. Those little tiny ones I got, I told you about. And here it is, y'all. I'm just not sure about it. <laughs> it's my Frankenstein. Anyway. <laughs> I got one of those signs there from the Dollar Tree last year, of course. This is kind of an epic fail, too, but I'm tired of sitting DIYs aside and never getting back to finishing them. But anyway, I took some buffalo check fabric I got from the Dollar Tree, and then I took some um, some of that stuff, um, fabric filler. No, yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. And I stuffed my pumpkin to make it poke out through the thing. And then I'm going to tack my material down right there because I tried to do it once before and by the time I glued it all down, it looks so bad. So I had to keep checking on my pumpkin. And um, and I did it with a Dollar Tree. You see it, Dollar Tree back in the corner? I did it with that and it just wasn't working. It wasn't full enough or something. And I'm just tacking down on my fabric here. Um, I just thought it'd be cute to have a pumpkin sticking out through it, but I think I went too forward. I think I made it too big, but I don't know. I just don't know, y'all. 
Um, I need somebody here guiding me sometimes saying, just stop while you're ahead because I won't stop. I keep going. Anyway, I'm not going to give up the fight. Anyway, so I just hot glued my fabric on top of that other fabric as tight as I can trying to hold that stuff in there. I mean, I'm a pool in it. Anyway, trying to make sure it stays. And then I cut off the excess and I tacked down all my fabric around it. And... Yeah, uh-huh. and then on my Cricut, I I made this in Cricut Design Space. I think I'm in there under Catherine Hall, and I spell it K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. So anyway, um, you can find that because I saved it, but it says, Hello, Pumpkin, or Hello, Pumpkin. Anyway, and oh, I do, I do, I glue two pieces of eucalyptus leaves at the top of like what would be a stem, but that was an epic fail. And then I take some of that um, gray and white ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I do another shoelace boast. Shoe boast. Dope a dope bark. And I glue it to the top of my sign. And, uh, uh, and then I try to dovetail it. But I just uh, arrow it. And then I was like, oh, dude. And then I dovetail it. And then I do the other side also. And, oh, there's my needle. It's a beetalon needle, it's called. And it's just a large, extra large eye needle. And that thing goes through anything. I know mine's all bent, bent and wonky. But, y'all, I have stuck it through holes and pulled it out with pliers before. <laughs> I love that thing. It goes through almost anything. Any hole, man. Any bead. I, uh, it's amazing. But that's what I use 99.9% .9 of the time. Anyway, and I'm going to take four black beads and four white beads. And these are just some spare beads that I had laying around because I, I paint too many sometimes. And I'm going to push it through the front of my sign there. And I'm going to triple knot it on the back. And I'm going to do that both sides. And then I'm going to hot glue it. Of course, I'm going to do it both sides. Otherwise, it wouldn't hang. And here it is, y'all. That one's just so simple. But the next one's really hard. Y'all's going to be like, oh, I ain't even going to attempt it. Anyway, I think it's cute. I do. It turned out okay. Sorry I'm showing you my TV in the background. But a little, uh, okay, I got that little, that little uh, bread uh, dish. I think that's what it is. Loaf for loaf. Anyway, I don't know. Um, and those little pumpkins. I only found those ones. Those three blue ones. That was it. Didn't see them anywhere else. And I take a bunch of raw in, I cut it up, and 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 I add some of that burgundy to it, because there's some burgundy color in my little dish there. And I take my pumpkins off, and I set them down in there, and that's it. I think that'd be cute for a tear tray. Y'all, I don't normally do anything like that, but that's actually what I wanted to do with it. <laughs> and I did, and I hey, think Jesse. it's adorable just to have sitting around. <laughs> I never do stuff that easy, y'all. Here's everything, y'all. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope y'all have a wonderful, blessed weekend. And remember, if anybody needs to know Jesus, just email me and I'll let you know all about him. And, yeah, be happy and blessed and remain a hot mess because I'm going to. I love y'all. Bye.